The Jaguars just secured their biggest offseason move yet, and that is re-signing and placing the franchise tag on Evan Ingram. Obviously, Evan Ingram does not get the hype like Travis Kelsey's and the George Kittles of the world, but he's a crucial focal point to this Jaguars offense. Today, I wanted to dive into his film from this past season, analyze what he brings to the table, and why Evan Ingram is such a crucial component to the Jaguars offense for years to come. So without further ado, let's get into the film breakdown. Jumping to this first play here, I want to highlight Evan Ingram's athleticism and his ability to be just a complete mismatch for defenders. So you see the defense, they're rolling into a cover one rat look, and offensively we're going to see one of Doug Peterson's favorite concepts in mesh. We see circled in white Evan Ingram's at the top of the screen here mashed up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage with Sauce Gardner. At the snap of the ball here, keep an eye on Evan Ingram's release. Look how he jabs outside, gives that head fake, and it freezes Sauce just enough for him to get a free release down the line of scrimmage here. And now we see that speed that Evan Ingram has. He's a mismatch. It's hard for corners to keep up with him. That true 4-4 speed is showing off here, pulling away from the possible rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, and Sauce Gardner. Now he turns up field, picking up a good chunk yardage play for his offense. I'll have the play roll from the stop top one more time. Just keep an eye on here. Look at his release. Look how he sets up Sauce here. Gives that jab step outside with the head fake. Freezes him just enough to get him a free release. And now he's showing off that speed, pulling away. Sauce Gardner can barely keep up with Evan Ingram as he turns up field, going down the sideline, picking up that chunk yardage play for his offense. Heading to this next play, we're going to stay on the same subject of Ingram's athleticism and his mismatch capabilities amongst corners or safeties or backers, whoever you put up against him. So taking a look here pre-snap, we're going to see the defense. They're rolling into another cover one rat look here, the Titans are. And offensively, I really just want to focus on Evan Ingram down here at the bottom of the screen, running this jerk route or this whip route. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see this is all about selling that mesh concept. He's selling like he's going to run that over again. And because of this, we see the corner circled in blue. He tries to work over top of this to cut the over route. This sets up perfectly. Evan Ingram stops on a dime, whips back out, and completely breaks the corner's ankles. Again, turning up field, picking up a big chunk yardage play. Be able to have a 6'4", 240-pound tight end be able to stop on a dime like this and run routes like this while also having a 4'4 speed, it's an incredibly adv advantageous mismatch for corners and safeties, and it's a headache for defenses to defend week in and week out. There's no doubt about it, working underneath of defenses, Evan Ingram's a complete mismatch. He's able to pull away from corners and man coverage. He has the route running to shake DBs. Let's flip gears here and let's take a look at his vertical threat capabilities. So we see the Titans defense, they're running a cover zero blitz here. And I really just want to focus on Evan Ingram at the top of the screen running the hitch and go concept. We're going to see the corner do a good job here staying home and not jump the hitch route. We see as I freeze the frame, the corner's done a good job here. He stays over top of Evan Ingram, not allowing him to get over the top of the defense. But because of this, this is setting up perfectly here for Trevor Lawrence to place a perfect back shoulder fade here where Evan Ingram is able to work back, open up his back hip, high point the football, bring it in for a big time touchdown. This is a huge play showing off the athleticism of Evan Ingram. He's able to go up high point balls over top of corners. He has the speed to break away from man coverage. He has good route running capabilities. Overall, he's a massive mismatch and nightmare for any defense. So we've seen a lot to like of, of Evan Ingram's athleticism. You can split him out, he's a mismatch. But now let's see where the value really comes into play. And it's his ability to come back into the box and be a true tight end fullback body. We see the Jaguars running power here with Evan Ingram being the kickout player. At the snap of the ball, we're going to see him do a decent job here. He's going to come up, use same foot, same shoulder, get, does a good job to kick out the defender circled in blue here, allowing that pulling guard to pull up inside and have that inside crease form. There's no doubt about it though, Evan Ingram is not a mauler in the run game. He's not going to be like George Kittle, pancaking people left and right, but he is a high effort, willing blocker that can get the job done. Whether you want to be your point man on the screen game out on the perimeter to clear out those Sams and nickels out of the way, whether you want to line them up as an H-back in the backfield and kick out defensive ends, kick out Sams, Sam backers, or if you want to tag him onto the backside of your zone running game and have him cut off backside defensive ends, he's not going to maul people, but he'll get the job done for you, and that's all that matters. When you think about it, you got a 6'4", 240-pound tight end that runs a 4'4", That's a mismatch, and ha majority of the corners in the league cannot keep up with him when he's running routes. Now you add on, an add on top of that that he can move back into the box and into the backfield as like almost a fullback and kick defensive ends out, kick Sam backers out. He's a Swiss Army knife that can do it all. And that's why it's so crucial for the Jaguars to retain a 
a player like this. Like I said, you can split him out as the single set receiver and ask him to go up and catch a back shoulder fade on a corner. And on the very next play, you can line, up, line him up as a fullback and run power with him. That versatility for an offense opens the doors for so much creativity. Hell, we even saw it at some points last year where he was the dump-off bubble in their RPO game where he was able to catch the bubble and he was able to fall four or five, six yards. Again, just having a big 6'4", 240-pound frame that can block decently well in the run game while also being a defensive back's nightmare. It's a Swiss Army knife that opens the door for so much creativity for this Jaguars offense. And I'm so excited to see the chemistry between him and Trevor Lawrence continue to grow for years to come. Well, that'll do it for the film breakdown. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys think Evan Ingram's a crucial part to this Jaguars team? Do you guys think they should have let him walk? Let me know your thoughts down below. Love hearing from you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.